today i'm going to teach you about the core values in community psychology so once i finish my lecture you will be able to know what the values in community psychology actually mean identify the need for such values in community and also understand the core values guiding the field of community psychology let me introduce values to you now and why they are important for community psychology awareness of values is important for community psychology as all of us know that values are deeply held ideals about what is moral right or wrong they also tell us what is good for us they have emotional intensity they are honored but not lightly held values may be concern ends that is they could be goals or they could be means 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 how to attain values or values could be both that means values could be ends and means both they are social we develop values through uh, our experiences with others individuals hold values but so do families communities and cultures values may be rooted in spiritual beliefs or practices but they can also be very secular a core belief of community psychology is that values are always present in the perspective we take the theories we generate the research we conduct and the practices in which we engage now community psychology posits that the pursuit of objectivity in itself is a value which like all other values is based in a set of assumptions and beliefs about the world that is epistemology and ontology community psychology pursues ways of working that reflects values of social change key assumptions are that our social worlds are unevenly stratified in terms of wealth class race gender ethnicity and sexuality the values we then adopt as community psychologists are meant to guide research and action efforts to change this system of inequality now what exactly is the need for values in community psychology in community psychology the discussions on values are useful for several purposes now what are these purposes i'm going to list them down for you firstly values help clarify choices for research and action even defining a problem is a value laden choice strongly influencing subsequent action public definitions of community and social problems reflect the world views of the powerful and to help maintain the status quo attending to values can lead to questioning those dominant views for community psychologists deciding whether to work with a particular organization or community requires attention to values sometimes the community psychologist may conclude that his or her values do not match those with the setting and choose not to work in that particular setting now the second purpose the discussion of values helps to identify when actions and espoused values do not actually match consider a community leader who helps to uh, found a neighborhood social center to empower teens who are gay lesbians bisexuals or questioning their sexuality the leader decides how to renovate the space and plans programs allowing the youth themselves little say despite the leader's intent this actually disempowers the youth because they do not have a say in deciding about 
their own center where they're going to meet and talk openly about issues which people normally don't talk about in public. Now the leader talks the talk but does not walk the walk. Thirdly, understanding a culture or community involves understanding its distinctive values. For instance, Potts in 2003 discussed the importance of Africanist values in a program for middle school African American youth. Native Hawaiian cultural conceptions of health are closely tied to values of Ohana and Lokha, family and community unity, and of interdependence of the land, water, and human communities. Now, a health program uh, which led to the promotion of Native Hawaiian communities needs to be interwoven with these values that they hold. Fourthly, community psychology has a distinctive spirit, a shared sense of purpose and meaning. That spirit is the basis of our commitment and what keeps us going when obstacles arise. It is thoughtful but also passionate and pragmatic, embodied in research and action. Now moving on to the next topic, which is individual and family wellness. Now wellness ref uh, refers to physical and psychological health, including personal well-being and attainment of personal goals. Indications of wellness include symptoms of psychological distress and such measures of positive qualities such as resilience, social-emotional skills, personal well-being and life satisfaction. These and other similar indicators are often outcomes criteria for community psychology interventions. Now, strengthening families can promote individual wellness. Community prevention programs that focus on child development often address parent and family functioning. Individual or family wellness is also the focus of clinical psychology and other related fields. Community psychology goes beyond yet complements clinical methods by placing individual wellness in the context of ecological levels of analysis. To promote individual or family wellness, community psychologists have studied and developed community interventions focused on the prevention of maladaptive behavior, personal and family problems and illness, promotion of socio-emotional competence and of health, social support networks and mutual help groups. Intervention programs in such non-clinical settings such as schools and workplaces Advocacy for changes in social services, law, policies and programs to promote physical and mental health. Moving on to the next topic, which is risk prevention and health promotion. Prevention as a goal or value of community psychology refers to interventions that aim to modify processes and mediating conditions that create risk for problems in living. The concept of risk is central to this definition. Risk is a statement about social context, but not about people. A central task of prevention programs is therefore to identify and address those factors that place people at risk. Kaplan in 1963 has identified three levels of prevention, namely primary, secondary and tertiary. Health promotion has become a central principle of and strategy within community psychology. Now in this context, health is viewed as a state of complete physical, 
mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease. Now this definition has been given by World Health Organization in 1986. Health promotion is concerned with the development of all aspects of well-being and quality of life for all people, not only those who are ill or those who have problems. Health promotion strategies provide a combination of educational and environmental support for actions and conditions of living that are conducive to health. The Ottawa Charter, which is written in uh, the World Health Organization uh, chapters, identifies five major actions that constitute the core of health promotion. Number one, building healthy public policy. Two, creating supportive environments. Three, strengthening community action and participation. Four, developing personal skills. And fifthly, reorienting health services. Moving on to empowerment and citizen participation. One of the values and goals of community psychology involves empowerment of individuals and communities that have been marginalized by society. Rappaport's 1984 definition includes empowerment is viewed as a process, the mechanism by which people, organizations and communities gain mastery over their lives. Now empowerment refers here to the development of a personal sense of control over one's life as well as the political control of factors that influence one's life. Empowerment is thus both a psychological and social process including for example collective action to ensure that access to societal resources are equitably distributed. Empowerment is a central value and strategy used in community psychology. Zimmerman refers to the processes and outcomes of empowerment and highlights the following specific factors that I'm going to talk about now, which are linked to the thrust of community psychology. They are role relationships, participation and access to resources, the value and principle of community and citizen participation is therefore central to this concept. While empowerment has had an important place in community psychology research and literature, some have criticized its use. Rigor in 1993, for example, points to the paradoxical nature of empowerment being a masculine or individualistic construct being used in community research. Now citizen participation refers to the ability of the individuals to have a voice in decision making, defining and addressing problems and the dissemination of information gathered on them. This is the basis for the usage of participatory action research in community psychology where community members are often involved in the research process by sharing their unique knowledge and experience with the research team and working as co-researchers. Next value is that of social justice and dealing with oppression. You must be wondering what social justice is all about. Now, social justice refers precisely to the distribution of pains and gains. A common definition characterizes justice as the fair and equitable distribution of power, resources and burdens. This is at the heart of community psychology which deems injustice as a source of suffering and oppression. Compelling evidence from multiple studies demonstrates that the poor suffer 
more than the middle class from a myriad of physical, psychological and social problems. Now this phenomenon affects the poor all over the world and not only in developing countries. A central focus of community psychology is on any dynamics of operation. Oppression refers here to structures and processes that reflect a systematically discriminatory power dynamic. Traditional correlates or determinants of oppression include race, socioeconomic position or identity, gender, disability, religion, language and sexual preference. Addressing oppression is therefore about targeting all the isms, example sexism and racism. Empowerment strategies are often used to address these challenges. Moving on to sense of community. Sense of community focuses on the experience of community rather than its structure, formation, setting or other features. It refers to a perception of belongingness, interdependence and mutual commitment that links individual in a collective way. It serves as a criterion for the assessment of social capital, the generation of social policies, the development of social and geographical communities and the evaluation of community capacity building. Community psychologists consider it central to their value-based praxis in promoting social justice and social change. It occurs in public domain discourse such as reporting community response to disaster, promoting the value of a rural lifestyle and advertising urban residential developments. For psychologists and other professionals and policy makers as well, there is the real need to consider the processes that are inherent in living in a community, in providing services and interventions, in understanding processes of inclusion and exclusion with resultant positive or negative impacts on mental and physical health. The concept of psychological sense of community was introduced by psychologists Seymour Saracens in 1974 in one of his seminar books. Let me summarize what I have taught you just now. A core belief of community psychology is that values are always present in the perspective we take. The theories we generate, the research we conduct and the practices that we engage in. Community psychology posits that the pursuit of objectivity in itself is a value which like all other values is based in a set of assumptions and beliefs about the world that is epistemology and ontology. In community psychology Discussions of values are useful for several purposes. These purposes are 1. Values help clarify choices for research and action. Even defining a problem is a value-laden choice, strongly influencing subsequent action. Public definitions of community and social problems reflect the world views of the powerful and to maintain a status quo. Second, the discussion of values helps to identify when actions and espoused values do not match. Third, understanding a culture or community involves understanding its distinctive values. Fourth, community psychology has a distinctive spirit 
a shared sense of purpose and meaning. That spirit is the basis of our commitment and what keeps us going when obstacles arise. It is thoughtful but also passionate and pragmatic, embodied in research and action. Personal values about relationships, accountability, social change priorities and our personal political worldview all shape our priorities and agenda for community work. Awareness of values is very crucial for community psychology. Core values guiding the field of community psychology are individual and family wellness, risk prevention and health promotion, empowerment and citizen participation, social justice and dealing with oppression and sense of community. Wellness refers to physical and psychological health both, including personal well-being and attainment of personal goals. Strengthening families can promote individual wellness. Community prevention programs that focus on child development often address parent and family functioning. Prevention as a goal or value of community psychology refers to interventions that aim to modify processes and mediating conditions that create risk for problems in living. Health promotion has become a central principle of and strategy within community psychology. Empowerment refers here to the development of a personal sense of control over one's life as well as political control of factors that influence one's life. So empowerment is thus both a psychological and a social process. Social justice refers precisely to the distribution of pains and gains. A common definition characterizes justice as the fair and equitable distribution of power, resources and burdens. A central focus of community psychology is on any dynamics of oppression. Oppression refers here to structures and processes that reflect a systematically discriminatory power dynamic. Sense of community focuses on the experience of community rather than on its structure, formation, setting or other features. It refers to a perception of belongingness interdependence and mutual commitment that links individual in a collective.